The recent State of Decay 2 update has made the game even more fun than what it was before and it has added some really cool stuff and we are heading out to take out a plague heart in the vicinity of our base in Meager Valley near Camp Kalankua. I see three blood ferals and a screamer as well, fantastic. Alright, we gotta avoid these guys, I don't wanna do anything with them. So we have already taken out two plague hearts in the region and one remains. So we are heading out to probably take out that plague heart and before that I'll have to deal with the siege infestation as well close by. Not using any vehicles because I don't want to attract any zombie attention and I'm using my own strategy from the tips and tricks video using the sand block which is like an in-game cheat you know. There it is, the severity to infestation and a mission pop-up as well. Let's deal with the infestation first and then we are gonna check out the mission. Here we go. A feral, okay. Blood feral. See our sand block is working perfectly. Let's take out the screamers and the infestation is done. But I'm gonna take out all of these guys. Anyways, just die, guys. That's a nasty bloater cloud. Gotta wait for it to kind of dissipate. And uh, yeah, then let's go and check the mission and find out what it is all about. And now, killing these special infected drops some really cool stuff which was not the case earlier fantastic and then much. the vehicle carrying capacity has improved a lot which is another big bonus let's check out what this guy okay it's a girl has to say okay she wants revenge on some guys the path finders okay but we are not gonna do that we are gonna use her for our own mission <laughs> and she is gonna be our diversion as we take out the plague heart but we gotta find the plague heart first she is following us she is gonna be our backup and uh, a bait or a diversion whatever you can call her she is both of those actually if I take out the nearest plague heart, this gonna just try and clear a path for her my plan is to not get her killed, but uh, yeah, even if she dies, I'm gonna make the most of it. This is lethal zone and uh, it's sad, but we'll have to be a bit selfish here. There is... where is the play guard? Let's check this side first. Maybe we can find it without using a recon spot no no it's not here there is no cloud nothing it's not close by we gotta use the recon spot now all right all right all right there is a bloater we got nothing to do with it and here is our recon spot and the gas station Bronto gas station is where another plague heart was I, need a break. I took out two of them only one remaining close by then I'll go and check out others on the map and let's find out the plague heart no 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 yes there it is hard. found it let's check all the region anything else important out there another infestation okay we're gonna deal with it later first we gotta go for the play guard oh no man I didn't want to jump thankfully it didn't do permanent damage to the health all right let's get to work there it is not very far see the sand block it is magical 
Here we are. Oh no man, I forgot to bring my PFG 50 cal weapon. I've got the ammo but not the gun. But we do have the backup so I mean it should even out things for us. Let's start with melee. Well, let's jump in straight away. Come on. Yes, here we go. Give me a hand on this. Yes. Yes. We are working on this plague hard right now pretty nicely. The first phase is done and we got the cavalry. See, I've ran out of the sand block effect, but the zombie attention is the oh no, blood feral. All right, I've used another sand block, and the timer for the infection has kicked in. We have the play cure. I'm well prepared. Let's try and take it out from a distance. Come on. I love this gun. 150 rounds in a single mag. Pretty nuts, isn't it? Another blood feral. With our diversion here, it shouldn't cause much trouble. See the feral, it was interested in me earlier, but now. Okay, the plague heart is done. So, yeah, the feral, it was interested in me earlier, but now. It is more interested in our diversion that gives us perfect opportunity to take it out. It's pretty damn fast. Come on dude, stay still for a second. Alright, let's thin him out. She doesn't even have a gun dude. Pretty, pretty ridiculous swinging at a blood feral she's got some guts gotta give her that he's almost done come on man I gotta do this oh shit he got up he's done yes he's dead a blood feral is dead let's clear these guys out and then we gotta go for the infestation after which we're gonna head home, but first I gotta check the plague heart for the rucksack. Come on, guys, how many of you are out there? We are done, I think. She must be thinking, What the heck is going on? <laughs> what about my mission? What about my revenge? So, ammo rucksack, bandages, I'm gonna take uh, the grenade or the heavy weapon, the grenade should do. Yeah, the grenade is a better option, we are gonna go for the infestation. And we can come back for the other stuff later, don't have any carrying capacity at this moment, don't even have a vehicle. Now after taking out all the plague hearts, I can drive around my base at least safely without having to worry about waking stuff up let's see what that infestation is all about and then we are gonna go back home our sand block is working perfectly fine and we are doing good and our companion is also doing okay i mean she is not close to death or anything like that here we are all right these guys are pretty chill we can just walk in right yeah oh my god a bloater is popped i didn't even kill that grenade out and another one we are done two grenades and the infestation is cleared a blood feral oh no okay we got the ammo for it and see the girl she's a brave one swinging at it go get him so we are done here there was another plague heart here that i took out earlier 
Take the gun, dude. I like yeah, the heavy weapons. Heavy. And uh, let's swing those. Let's have some fun with the heavy weapons now. It's ladies' day out today. We are swinging, dude. Some ammo has been robbed here, but I don't have any empty slots for it. The helmet guys, I hate them. They can be like a real trouble, especially in large groups. And throw a juggernaut or a blood barrel into the mix and you've got a recipe for a disaster. Anyways, this place is dead now. We are heading back home. Drop the rucksack. And after that, I'm not actually gonna switch survivors. I'm actually gonna drive out and claim some outposts in the region and uh, collect some of the stuff. Because the carrying capacity in the vehicles has been increased a lot, actually, which is something fantastic. The ferals and the screamer are still here. Let's clear them since now we have our backup with us. Screamer goes first and yeah. One of the ferals is down and here they come. Cute little creatures aren't they? They are dead. A bloater. Time to go back home. And uh, if you if you guys have checked the trips and tricks video of mine, I think it still kind of holds up because of the fact that the sand block works perfectly fine. It's uh, all about continuing your community from the lower difficulties to lethal instead of you know starting a new one. And that is something that I would still recommend to someone who is going to lethal for the first time. So that you can experience things and then later on when you are kind of familiar with the lethal stuff. You can choose to start a new community and go through the real struggle. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Do check out the tips and tricks video if you haven't checked that out. And do leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.